Thank you, CGS. Thank you, Chair and the moderator and His Excellency Mustafa Usman Turan and uh, Mr. Abul Asan Chaudhuri, former minister, and the all uh, distinguished guests. I firstly uh, express my thanks to CGS to give the opportunity, and I am privileged to be here. And uh, they fixed me as a discussant on, on the uh, effective development cooperation. Before focusing on this issue, because moderator already mentioned that five minutes is the... So I, I will be try to be focused on only this effective development cooperation. Just a little bit I want to mention that uh, these issues, uh, it's not clear uh, to the common people that the process of recommendation by the UN Committee for Development Policy, that on that basis of the data, statistics, information from Bangladesh, and according to UNDCP, uh, Committee for Development Policy, they based on that data, statistics, and information, and all these things. And we know everyone that uh, Bangladesh Bureau of Statistics, uh, they are not a reliable organization and authority. Even uh, before placing the budget, the people, they are concerning about our budget policy, they mentioned it uh, several times. So according to this manipulated, this manipulated information and statistics and data, when UN system, when UN system uh, go according to their, their mechanical process and uh, recommend a country uh, that they will be graduated from LDC, that I think this should be readdressed and this should be rediscussed, especially from the countries who will be recommended. Because that process, whether it is transparent, whether it is fair, and whether it is uh, substantially correct, that should be just. Because end of the day, the benefit of this type of graduation, uh, whether the people of Bangladesh is getting or not, that is the issue. And welfare of the Bangladesh people is the main target, ultimate target. So as a political activist, I will think this matter from that glass, that whether the people of Bangladesh is going to be benefited uh, after being graduated from the uh, less developing countries to uh, the, the upper, upper stair. So this is the thing, and also um, I have an humble request to CGS that like organization like CGS, uh, they should, and organization like Shujon, they should more focus that uh, these uh, things should be rediscussed, that whether uh, the uh, assessment and the recommendation process by UNDCP was uh, very much correct, and whether there are any correction, any, 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 any discussion. And finally, my comment is that for the de this effective development cooperation, of course, Bangladesh as a recommended country, they have to have, uh, have effective discussion with the all development partners, like uh, UNCDP, like UNCTAD, like GOP, WTO, and LDCPs. And of course, finally, the United Nations, other, all system, they're concerned with the development things. And to discuss with this type of development partners and all the stakeholders, a candidate must be, has that qualification to be accepted by this party. And as, 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 as a recommended country, Bangladesh, when he'll, they will ask to have effective discussion for effective development and effective cooperation, they has to has the legitimate, uh, 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 legitimate ground. So then they, naturally there will be the question that whether this government is uh, has a proper verdict from the people. And we know the uh, status of our electoral institution. We know the democratic status. We know our political status. And uh, of course, this is not a focus point. But uh, for the effective development and for the effective cooperation to share with any stakeholders, we need it. And finally, finally, the fragile state cannot make and drive this process. For that reason, for that reason, Bangladesh government, Bangladesh, uh, others, all institution, and and of course the political parties, they has to has a institutional development to address this type of institutional graduation from United Nations. 
So without institutional language and without having institutional development, how much we can get it or how much not, that is the question. Thanks. Thank you, everyone.